Tell us what does this uh, honor mean to you? It's obviously pretty special. Oh, it means a lot. You know, the V Foundation, they do a lot for uh, cancer research and kind of help for people with that going through the same thing I went through, and it's probably saved a lot of lives for it. And I'm, I'm glad they honor me as the, a recipient of the award this year. People can look up to you a lot. Uh, what do you try to impart on people, or what can people learn from your story and, and what you went through? What do you want people to take from this? I just want people to take, don't ever give up. You know, if life's got you down, you know, things have gotten not not your way, you know, not the way you wanted to see it, don't ever give up, you know. If you got the will to do it, you know, you got the will to make it through everything. Tell us, how difficult was this for you? It was pretty difficult, actually. Like, you know, going through what I had to go through, it was, it was a rough, rough kind of trip, rough ride, but in, in the end, it all turned out right for me. Did you become a better person, per se? I would say so. I'd say, you know, I look at life at a different angle. You know, I don't look at it as a little teenage high schooler or whatever anymore. I'm more of an adult, I'd say, you know. I look at it the way that this has changed my life in a great way. What what would you give it? I mean, usually when you think of cancer, you think maybe some elderly people, but for a tender age of 20, 21 that you got this, what advice would you give to people who have pain and, and you know, who, you know, your message, I guess, for checkups? Oh well, yeah, get checkups. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of went through the same thing. I kind of put it off, you know, because being a basketball player and athlete, you know, you kind of put off injuries because they're not that bad. And I kind of put off things like that. But if, if you were to take advice from me, I take go get checkups as much as you can. If you feel any discomfort or anything, you know, get a checkup. If it's nothing, it's nothing. At least you're getting a checkup. Dallas, can you tell us how you found out and some of your thoughts when you did find out you won this award? Well, uh, I found out Jamie called me during class, and I kind of had to ignore it. You know, I can't really answer it during class. And he was telling me a week before then that he was going to let me know when it happened. So right when I seen his name on my phone, I kind of figured I won the award. And I was just really excited. You know, I, I, the first person I had to call was my mom because she's always been there for me. And she, I told her, I was like, I asked her first. I was like, are you sitting down? She's like, yeah, why? And I'm like, are you around anybody? She's like, no, no, I'm not around anybody. I was like, all right. So I told her, and she just started yelling and screaming. She was so happy. It was the greatest. It's the greatest thing in my life, probably. Is it said in that? Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. I'm so, has it said in that you're going to be like a national inspiration to people, not just in Youngstown, but but around the nation? This well, is now that you say that. Now it kind of kind of sits in a little bit. But now I've never really thought about it like that. You know, because I've been getting you know emails, texts from everybody today, and it still hasn't hit me yet that I'm going to be you know looked upon by younger kids as oh man, this guy can do it. I can do it too. You know. Do you feel because this is such a high profile award that you have some kind of responsibility that goes with it and if so what? Yeah, I kind of feel like I have to carry myself a different way, you know, kind of got to look at like if people see me in public, you know, I can't be doing the wrong things. I got to keep my, you know, my look, you know, my act, the way I, the way I persu per persuade myself to the public. I got to be, you know, more mature about stuff. Was there a point in time, of probably say a year or two ago, when when you were in the midst of this, that you know it's like I did you didn't feel like maybe you'd make a comeback to play basketball? Yeah, there was a time. I think it was probably my third third thing, third treatment of chemo when I uh, got really sick and I had to go in the hospital for a good four days. I kind of looked at uh, Berkey, our trainer, and I kind of said, you know, this is this is this is tough. I don't know if I can make it. And luckily, he was there to help me through it. And you know, talk me through and say I can do it, you know, so. No, so the day you found out that you were, that you were clean bill of health, so to speak, just what, the, what did that mean to you, seven months of, of obviously, uh, you know, chemotherapy and, and, and working out and that sort of thing, I mean, just that minute you were told that you were cancer free, so to speak. That's probably the, one of the greatest moments of my life, probably so far it is the greatest moment of my life, and I was there with my mom, my family, and so, you know, it was, it was just one of those feelings like a monkey's off your back, you know, you, you could feel relieved, you could feel like you're back to normal, and then that's when I kind of thought to myself, this is where I got to start turning things around, you know, I got to start being a better person, a better basketball player, you know, stuff like that. How did Coach Slocum, your teammates, the basketball program, basketball family here help you? Oh, they were there for support, anything. They, uh, you know, some of the guys, Tom Parks, Vita Solsky, they are there, you know, they're like, anything you need, you know, we're there for you. You know, if you need us to take you somewhere, if you need us to get you some food, you know, we're there for you. And, you know, like the coaches, they always are calling me, checking up on me, making sure I wasn't, you know, I wasn't sick or I wasn't doing this. If I needed anything, you know, they're always there for support. What kind of plans do you have now, if any, to uh, work on behalf of uh, people who have or have had cancer, uh, interact with the American Cancer Society, or get more deeply involved with the Blue Foundation? 
those kinds of things. Well, uh, I talked to our trainer Todd Berkey, and we're we're talking about going to visit like kids in, that have you know have cancer in the hospitals. You know, they're suffering from the stuff I suffered from. Going there, you know, visiting with them, you know, talking to them, kind of getting to interact with them a little bit, you know, show them, you know, I survived. You know, it's not, you know, it's, it's going to be harder for you, but you know, you could do it as well. Do you remember seeing the speech that uh, Jimmy V gave, boy, 10, 12, 15 years ago about, you know, don't give up all that stuff? And, and did you see it? And back then, did you ever think that it would have a special message for you in particular? No, no. I've, I remember watching it. You know, our coach showed it to me in high school. I remember we watched it as a team, you know, one of those things right before we go into state. We watched it as a high school. And I just kind of watched it like, oh, yeah, I like that quote. You know, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. I never thought that would mean something to me, in, you know, in the long run. Dallas, how did this all come about? How, how were you nominated, or how, how did that all transpire? Well, uh, probably midway through the year, Jamie Paul, you know, mentioned something to me. He's like, hey, I think I'm going to nominate you for the, you know, the V Foundation. You know, I, I thought knowing me, all right, yeah, you know, that's cool. It's cool to be nominated for it, but I never thought it'd go this far to me being a finalist and then to winning it. Do you, know, go ahead. do you know anybody else who was up for it personally or not? I don't know anybody else personally. In the release, you said that, you know, obviously there are no winners and losers when it comes to you and the other finalists. Finding out that you are the recipient of the award, what does that, set, what does that mean to you, just in terms of impact on your life? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, it means it shows like I'm, I'm obviously, you know, a, a strong-willed person and not everything like that, but it also shows that I got some responsibility to do. You know, I've got to show my true character. i got to show people exactly, you know, what kind of person I am and what kind of person I could be to survive cancer like that.